Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube video test. Uh, this is the first ever test and hopefully not my last. Um, trying to actually just test the pH level in water here in Germany or to be exact southern Bavaria. Um, these are this is just a small selection of the water that is actually available to buy in my local store. There is approximately hundreds of different water bottling, not just companies, but products that you can actually buy in different water, so it'll be impossible to buy all of them. Not to mention, I'll probably be broke by then. So I've seen a lot of different uh, YouTube videos on pH level testing, so I went ahead and ordered me one of these tests on Amazon. Amazon, And uh should be pretty interesting. I played with it a little bit before, and uh, this will be my first ever true attempt. So, what I did is I actually got some tap water from a local tap water here. Then we got for a closest neighboring city in Augsburg. Then we got uh, from another small place up north, approximately 40 kilometers north. And then the holy water itself, Zam Zam from Mecca. I received this water two weeks ago. And uh, I am very, very interested in testing it out. It tastes absolutely amazingly. So hopefully it will do a test as well. We got Walwick, uh, Residence Quelle, they, they, they're pretty good. Adel Hützner, then we have Albertus Quelle, that is also one of the local waters approximately 15 or 20 kilometers away from here. We got Frankenbrunnen, um, Krumbach, they are also supposed to be pretty good. Uh, Gerolsteiner and Mondquelle. Uh, like I said, this is just a small selection of the water that I got and uh, we will be doing the tests. I uh, actually went ahead and did 30 milliliters of water per sample and according to my test kit I need two drops. So here we go, let's give this a good shot. So here's my local from the home water. I'm gonna do two drops. Two. Okay. That's the neighboring city Augsburg. to Pitmas. And my holy Zim Zim water. Valbic. Oh, well, as we can see, everything is turning pretty much this beautiful blue. Volvic is a bit greenish and if we look at the level here that is really not uh, it's not too bad but compared to the other ones a bit disappointing but we are going on what is that's good huh? okay and I will be mixing these up For the record, this Mundquell, that is pretty damn expensive. It is the most expensive water here. So, let's do, let's go back here. Mix this up a little bit. Sorry, this is boring. If it is, go ahead and forward. And uh, let's just look at the results at the end. blue, incredibly blue. And I'm just looking at the test now, I probably should have done this white sheet of paper, probably underneath them, you can see the coloring better. All the hoods now, wow, I'm wow, pretty, pretty disappointed, I have to say, from, what, from the looks of it. Scientist, but I guess I play one on YouTube. <laughs> so, let's 
let's see what we have here is the short coloration short so let's take a look at this nice little blue if we look at the level here i would say it's a 7.6 ph level that is my tap water from home okay let's do the next one augsburg Oh, if I'm not mistaken, it looks exactly the same, 7.6. Next one is Pitkes, a little bit further north. That is exactly between Augsburg and Ingolstadt. So for anyone that's kind of curious. All right, this one looks also 7.6. <laughs> not to play favorites, but the granddaddy of them all. Look at that. That is simply amazing and beautiful. Um, if I look at this, I would definitely say an 8.0. That looks like that. Here comes Vulpic. I'm very disappointed at this one, I have to say, because I do drink a lot of it. And if you look at the test, I'm not quite sure what I would say here. Anywhere between a 6.6 .6 and a 7.0. Hmm. Okay. Next one is Residence Quelle. A bluish, just actually, if I'm looking at the colors, it is a little bit less than what I have at home. So this was, I would say, anywhere between 7.0 and a 7.6. Uh, next one is the Otto Hützner. And a small disclaimer, I could not find a still that is actually normal uh, without any uh, sparkling in it. This one has a little bit, but if you look at the color and everything else, this is supposed to be the most mountainous water coming direct from the Alps and yeah, I don't think so. Sorry, just my personal preference. This one looks definitely, come on iPhone, uh, 6.0. Oh, wow, I am uh, interesting. Albertus Crenna, this is also approximately 15 kilometers away from here in Dazing and um, the, what's interesting is if you turn it around, it tells you it's actually Recommended for baby food preparation, everything else, and uh, not for my baby, that's for sure. Now, let's see what we have here. Uh, this one, I would also say it's about a 7.6. Good water. Kumbach, also a small disclaimer this is the exact water that I do drink, not just natural, but medium. And uh, that is the water that I do drink at home, that is the water that we purchase. And this one has a beautiful, I would also say 7.6 bis, 8.0 because it is a little blue, more blue than uh, normal. Let's go to this one. And uh, here we go. This is Mondquelle, the most expensive water here. And uh, <laughs> when, you, when you buy it at the store, of course. And I would say this one also is it's a good 7.6 according to the scale. Okay, and the next, not quite is the Gettelsteiner. Also good water. I've drank it before. It's pretty good. But here, if you look at the color, I would say it is a fast 6.6, 6.7 maybe. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is all I have. And I'm going to do a quick run through. Thank you for all for hanging in there for watching these videos with me and uh, hopefully this helped anyone. Like I said, I'm doing this just for my own good and uh, curiosity, kill the cat. And my pizza is ready, if you can tell. <laughs> just have to wait a second. And that is it. Hopefully I won't get any bad comments. If you do, hey, go for it. Thank you all. This is my small review of the waters available here in southern Bavaria. And till next time, take care.